What's going on, everyone? Welcome back to the show. So I saw this ad from Representative Pasquarell. I've had him on. on I've showed uh, clips of him before uh, on this show. And I want to show you this ad because he's, t he's showing different Republicans that are against Social Security that want to make cuts to Social Security. And so we're going to take a look at it. We're going to analyze it. We'll talk a little bit about uh, what uh, some of these these lawmakers uh, said about Social Security. And so that's what we're going to focus on in this video. But first off, if you guys can do me a favor, please like the video, subscribe to the channel, hit that little bell notification, and then click all. By clicking all, you'll get notified anytime we post a video. We do daily videos here, so by clicking the bell notification and clicking all, you should be getting updated every day. And just a reminder, thank you for your support. I really appreciate it. And if you'd like to follow me on Twitter and threads, you can at the TEC Show Live. Okay, so... I want to go ahead and show you guys this. Uh, this is uh, Representative Pascarell. He put out this, this ad. I don't know exactly when he put this ad out, but uh, it's pretty interesting. So we're going to take a look and a listen. Here we go. This Treasury bonds, they have no value to the federal government. It is a legal Ponzi scheme. I'm happy to defend that comment all day long. What you would do is for those in their 20s coming into the system, we would change the retirement age so that it matches life expectancy. Does it really make sense to allow someone who's in their 20s today to retire at, uh, at, at 62? Raising the retirement age for, for people who are in their 20s when it comes to receiving Social Security benefits, do you agree with her on that? I think that's something that has to be on the table we have to look at. Uh, talking about making changes for people in their 30s or 40s, the program's viable, you know, that, that's a much different thing, and that's something that, that I think that there's going to need to be discussions on. Okay, so I want to go back to a couple of different things that were said. Uh, so that the first thing, the, the whole Ponzi scheme, now we know when it comes to lawmakers, some lawmakers have said this before, it's a Ponzi scheme. Social Security is a Ponzi scheme. The main reason that they're saying this is because they want to do away with the program. Okay, so they want to make it look like, you know what, this is a big scam. That's all it is. And so it's just like any other pyramid scheme, Ponzi scheme, whatever you want to call it. Uh, we need to do away with this. We need to privatize Social Security. You're going to hear talk like that, and you, you, you'll have lawmakers that come out and say this. It's a Ponzi scheme, and that's just a way to discredit uh, Social Security. Now, remember, we all pay into Social Security, and sure, the people who are currently working are paying the benefits for the people who are currently receiving them. Now, those same people, the same people that are working now when they retire, the people that will be working at that point, they'll be paying for their uh, retirement benefits. That's how the system works, okay? Now, if you want to call that a Ponzi scheme, call it whatever you want. It's actually been successful. It's actually been working, and we're at a point now where in 10 years, we know the trust fund is in danger of running out of money, and that's what they need to address. But when it comes to the payroll tax right now, the payroll tax is paying for the people who are currently receiving benefits, and then they're taking a small portion, about 23% from the trust fund. Now, that trust fund money, that money was accrued because there was a time when Social Security, when that payroll tax was paying all the benefits and then had money left over. And then they put that money into a trust fund and then that money was invested in bonds. And so that's why we have the trust fund now. It's about $2.7 trillion in the trust fund. So that's the first thing I want to address. When it comes to the Ponzi scheme, yes, they're trying to discredit Social Security. They're trying to make it look like a scam. That way people will be okay with doing away with the program. Okay, so let's let's move forward. Uh, what did Nikki Haley say here? Those in their 20s coming into the system, we would change the retirement age so that it matches life expectancy. Does it okay, so the life expectancy thing. Um, it, you know, it, it's a situation. Life expectancy right now is 79 years old. So are you saying that people in their 20s and, and life expectancy will, let's hope that life expectancy will increase by then. So it might even be 80 or or 81, 82 years. So you're saying that those people <laughs> shouldn't be able to receive Social Security benefits until, you know, if it's matching their life expectancy. I mean, does that really even make sense, to be honest with you? Because if it's the average life expectancy, that means that on average people will have to wait until their life expectancy 
and then they might not get anything because they might not live past their life expectancy. And so how do you match it with that? I, I, I don't understand what she's saying there. Uh, obviously, right now, it's it's between 66 and 67. And so for most of us, it's going to be 67 when you can collect Social Security. Uh, now, uh, this was interesting, too. This lawmaker here was talking a little bit more about the uh, people that are in their 20s. Expectancy. Does it really make sense to allow someone who's in their 20s today to retire at, uh, at, at 62? <laughs> okay, so... Uh, and that, that that was Senator Kennedy there. And so just think about that. He's talking about someone that's in their 20s. So they're, in essence, they're going to work. Let's say you're 20 years old. You, you just started a job. Or let's say you're 21. You just started a job, your career job. The ex- expectation is that you work 41 years. And at, at that 41-year mark, they're saying, do you really expect to retire now at 40, after 41 years of work? We want you to work even longer. Why don't you work another, I don't know, six or seven years, or by this time, maybe even another 10 years. That's what they would be okay with. Or let's say nine years. You work until you're 70. I mean, just think about that. That's just insane. You have someone in their 20s that is working, and they're going to have to work 40 years in order to even Think about getting some Social Security benefits. Now, you can retire whenever you want. You don't have to wait until you're 62 or wait until you're 67 or wait until you're 70 to retire. But the reality is most people, we need Social Security to supplement our retirement. We can't just get our retirement and retire. It's it's usually not enough on its own. And so that's why Social Security is key because you need to supplement that. Even if it's only $1,000 or $1,500, that still goes a long way when you're pulling in your retirement from your 401k or whatever retirement plans that you have to have a little bit of additional money. And so that's why people are waiting. That's why they're waiting until they're, they're 62 so they can get early retirement or they're 67 so they can get their full retirement because they need that additional income. Okay, what else was said here? Raising the retirement age for for people who are in their 20s when it comes to receiving Social Security benefits. Do you agree with her on that? I think that's something that has to be on the table. We have to look at. Okay, so whenever a lawmaker says something that's on the table, that means that they are interested in making those cuts or making those changes. Let's keep it on the table, right? If they take it off the table, obviously, then it means that it's not going anywhere. But putting it on the table, keeping it on the table... That means they have their eye on it. Uh, talking about making changes for people in their 30s or 40s so that the program's viable, you know, that, that's a much different thing, and that's something that, that I think that there's going to need to be discussions on. Okay, so that last part there, that was uh, DeSantis. And so it's always interesting when you hear these politicians. They, they never give you kind of an exact age, but he's saying 30 or 40. Uh, it, you know, it's, it's, we should be looking at both of those, you know, around that age to make some changes to Social Security. Obviously, he's not talking about the changes that need to be made to Social Security. Lawmakers never talk about this. They always talk about, yes, we need to reform Social Security, but very few lawmakers will come out and say, this is how we need to reform it. The only thing they talk about is raising the full retirement age up. That's the only thing they talk about. They don't talk about anything else, and raising the full retirement age is not enough. You're going to need to do more. You need to bring in a revenue stream. What revenue stream are you going to bring in? And some lawmakers, they understand it. They say, you know what? We need to raise a payroll tax. Or we need to raise the cap on people who are making over $160,200. You need to raise the cap on that. Now, in 2024, that will increase. I think it's up to $168,600 or something like that. Uh, But... When it comes down to it, they need to raise that cap in order to collect more money, in order to bring in more revenue. And lawmakers don't talk about the revenue that needs to be brought in. They just talk about, you know what, we're just going to put it on the American people. You guys are going to have to work longer in order to receive your full retirement. And another thing, and this is very, very important when it comes to the talk of raising the full retirement age. Right now, and let's just say across the board right now it's 67 So you can retire at 67. If they raise that full retirement age to 70, then they have to raise the plus ups. Because right now, 
if you wait until age 70, you get plus ups. You get about, it's about what, 21% or maybe a little bit more, uh, maybe it's 24%. I can't remember the exact calculation, but you get an increase in your social security benefits if you wait until age 70. That's right now. Okay, now this is voluntary. You can collect your full retirement at 67, but if you wait until 70, you get the plus up payments. So what that would mean is if they raise the full retirement age to 70, well then now you probably won't be you won't be able to get those plus well you're not going to be able to get the plus ups anymore. And then you're probably going to have to wait until 73 or 74 in order to see you know, to get those plus ups. So they're going to move everything up. And then what are they going to do about early retirement? What are they going to do about people retiring at 62? Are they going to raise that up too? Is that going to raise up to 65? So now will people will no longer be able to retire at 62 and receive social security benefits. They're going to have to wait until they're 65. So what are they going to do about that? These are things that they're not talking about. They're not explaining all this stuff to us. They're just saying, you know, we need to raise the full retirement age up. So I'd be very interested to hear a plan. I have not heard a plan yet come from lawmakers that are talking about raising the full retirement age up. They're not, they're not giving us a plan. At least you have Senator Bernie Sanders and you have some other lawmakers that are out there talking about plans. Representative Larson has a Social Security 2100 Act. Bernie Sanders has a $200 raise for Social Security. They have the plan already there. They have it. They, they, they're telling you where the revenue streams are coming from, and they're telling you this is what it would allow us to do. But lawmakers that are talking about raising the full retirement age, there's no plan. They have no plan. And the reason that they have no plan, just like I earlier stated, is because just raising the full retirement age is not enough. And so this right here is all talk. It's just lawmakers out there saying, yeah, you know what? We, we should look at reforming Social Security. We have to reform Social Security. Okay, well, how are you going to reform Social Security? Oh, we're going to raise the full retirement age. We need to keep that on the table. Okay, well, what else are you going to do? They don't have an answer. They have no answer because you need to do more, and they don't even want to talk about doing more because doing more means raising taxes, and they don't want to talk about raising taxes. That's the bottom line. A real leader is going to tell you the good and the bad. They're going to tell you, you know what, we have to raise taxes, and this is the reason why. That's what a good leader would tell you. But the lawmakers that we have right now, very few are good leaders. Very few. A lot of them are just out there to collect that paycheck. They're out there to, you know, for popularity and all this stuff, but they're not there to actually do a job. So I want to know what you guys think about all this, so let me know down below. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. Please subscribe for more, and I'll talk to you in the next one.